Both O'Reilly and Fox have faced backlash since the New York Times published its report, which added that O'Reilly's accusers were paid a collective $13 million in exchange for their silence. The news came after former chairman, Roger Isles, stepped down last summer for similar sexual harassment allegations. Fox News spokespeople on Tuesday declined to respond to questions about whether Bill O'Reilly, the longtime face of the network who is now confronting a sexual harassment scandal, would return to his show after his vacation ends on Monday. Protesters gathered around Fox News headquarters in New York City Tuesday to express their discontent with one of the network's biggest stars, Bill O'Reilly. Men and women from Ultraviolet, an online community that aims to fight sexism in the workplace and advocate for the National Organization for Women, now called on the network to fire the O'Reilly Factor host after a New York Times report revealed at least five different women have accused him of sexual harassment. Protesters held up signs that read, Tell Bill, you're fired, and danger. Sexual predator works here, as well as started a formal petition to get rid of O'Reilly. So far over 140,000 people have signed it, the organization confirmed to Fortune. The fact they, Fox News parent company 21st Century Fox, have spent millions to avoid holding him accountable, it's outrageous, said Karen Rowland, chief campaigns officer at Ultraviolet. It has perpetuated a culture in which men can commit these crimes and be protected, while women who survive are silenced. O'Reilly has denied the incidents, saying only that celebrities are fat targets for such allegations. In a statement on Tuesday evening a lawyer for O'Reilly, Mark E. Kasowitz said, Bill O'Reilly has been subjected to a brutal campaign of character assassination that is unprecedented in post-McCarthyist America. This law firm has uncovered evidence that the smear campaign is being orchestrated by far-left organizations bent on destroying O'Reilly for political and financial reasons. That evidence will be put forth shortly, and it is irrefutable. Nonetheless, advertisers no longer seem willing to support O'Reilly's highly rated show. In the past few days some advertising blocks only had one or two commercials uncommonly short for a primetime show. By some accounts half of O'Reilly's advertisers have left the program, with at least 11 companies confirming to reporters that they had either pulled ads or planned to shift upcoming ads to other Fox News programs. Support for O'Reilly inside the company is apparently slipping. New York Magazine, citing unnamed sources, reported Tuesday that 21st Century Fox executive chairman Rupert Murdoch is supporting O'Reilly's return while his sons. Chief Executive James Murdoch and Chief Operating Officer Lachlan Murdoch want the combative commentator out. Rupert Murdoch has a long association with O'Reilly, who joined Fox News when it launched as an upstart competitor to CNN in 1996.